Hello and welcome back to Nevermore Creations. So I have a bonus video for you today and it's exciting for me because I finished another digital kit and an example journal. So this kit is called Feathered Friends and it is about birds and people and kind of uh, their relationship together. And I have a whole kit here printed on presentation paper. Um, I'm mentioning that it's 32 pound paper because I'm going to actually sell it in printed form as well. If you do not have um, a printer or you don't want to buy the digital download and you want to buy it printed out, that um, is also going to be an option in my shop. If you hit, click below, you will see physical copy um, a feathered fringe digital kit and it will be mail printed and mailed to you. Um, so here's the kit and I'm going to talk a little bit about my ideas behind it and what I'm doing. So there are 10 journaling pages or five, there's two per page. And again, it's vintage, very, very vintage, a lot of old book paper. I believe this was like an end paper from a book here. Again, some quotes. This says, all good things are wild and free from throw. And this I kind of thought could be the um, first page when you open up the journal. It would be great for a cover as well. But again, some more journal end paper here. And then this vintage image was black and white and I recolored it with um, a marker brush and on my iPad Pro and it came out really, really cute. Gave a lot of cuteness and life to it. And that says, good morning. So there's that page. And I don't have these in order, so oh well. Here's the journaling card page. There are six journaling cards. And again, my resources were mostly the Graphics Fairy Old Design Shop plus my own hunting around. Um, and there were a few other things pulled in. I think some uh, background textures and stuff like that. But here's some music overlaid on this uh, bird and bricks. And then this is a vintage book cover, Birds of the Air ABC, a Father Tuck's nursery tale series. And then here's another bird, and I have some music going along the side there. Here's another book cover, another Father Tuck's Nursery Tales, Birds in Their Homes. Here's a page with a little, this is a book page, vintage book page about the robin and a little boy. Beautiful bird frame, and then I put on here birds of a feather flock together. So those are your journaling cards. Here's some more pages. This is a vintage book cover. You can see the embossing. Well, hopefully you can see it on the camera. I just um, faded it so you could write on it. And I try to not go overboard with my kits. I love the kits that are full of images, but I try to use mine more for writing, leave lots of space for writing. So know your own happiness, Jane Austen. And then here's a little lady writing. It made me think of Jane Austen. And then there's a little parrot there. Beautiful uh, lined bird music in the background and then a vintage banner there uh, at the bottom. Then we have another, this is I believe from the back. This is a back cover of a vintage book. I did not recolor this. This is the colors and I thought it was gorgeous, including the, these lines. So I left all that and then I added this Emily Dickinson quote. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tunes without the words and never stops at all. So beautiful. So I added that. Here's a vintage um, music page that had birds and flowers, and I uh, overlaid that on a vintage end page to come up with this. And then here we have more vintage from a vintage book cover in the background. And then The Earth Has Music for those who listen, Shakespeare. Here, I love this set of pages here. This is a vintage uh, book page. Look, you can see the... Um, this is all from like old tape and cracking. And then published by Raphael Tuck and Sons, Limited Company, New York, Paris. This is overlaid um, on top of it. There's a couple overlays here. I think this is the page and then the image is overlaid and this is overlaid as well to create that. This is a background image. I think this is from the website Lost and Taken. I want to say a whole bunch of free backgrounds, really pretty like um, decaying plaster and wallpaper and then I added this beautiful bird and flowers coming up around it and then we have this one here um some more all sorts of vintage backgrounds here a little bird told me William Shakespeare and there's a really pretty image 
And then this looks kind of like I didn't do a wonderful job um, putting them together. <laughs> but this is a vintage book page. And I think it was either the back cover or an end page from a book on birds. And it was exactly set out this way. So I left it because that's really awesome and vintage. I just added some um, borders and things like that. So here's an ephemera sheet. And this is a library card for the book Birdcraft. And you can see there's different stamps on here from the 1930s and 40s, 1930s and 40s. I got this from the Old Design Shop on her free blog. So even if you don't buy this kit and you want this card, go to her free blog and you can get that. Um, but I, I added it in here so you'd have it. Here's some vintage book covers that I just have little piece, as little pieces of ephemera. You can either make mini journals with them or just use them as journal cards. This is Birds and Flowers and Other Country Things by Mary Howitt. This one is Birds and Their Nests by Mary Howitt. And this one is Birds Through an Opera, gra opera Glass. Blah. And then I added a couple of the borders in case you wanted to make belly bands with them. Here's another ephemera sheet, vintage images. Here's a little cute owl and some birds. Here's another book cover, Alphabet Birds from 1885. And then here's a little girl holding her pet bird. This makes a great tuck spot. Um, bird tails, another, um, what's it called, book cover. And then a, a oval with a vintage, a skylark and her nest. And um, the last Oh, I printed this one twice, <laughs> so I already showed you that one. So here's the journal I made from it, and it's just a simple journal. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Sorry about that. It is a manila envelope. Mm, excuse me, nine by six size. I have some blue lace over the corner. Here's one of the journaling cards that's ripped and sewn here on the front with some coordinating buttons and half of a doily that is coffee dyed and some uh, inking on the rose and flowers and zigzags stitched there. Some yarn, blue and white variegated yarn, close that. This is super simple for you to make your own and add a lot of stuff to. I'm just showing you an idea of how the kit can be used. Um, but the journal's for sale as well in my shop when you click my shop below. So here's the front. And then this is what I meant as the yeah. beginning. All of the pages are printed on the 20 pound paper so that I could spray them with the coffee solution and get the real shabby. This is a real shabby, shabby feel to it. Um, and then I stitched them all onto scrapbook paper, different polka dot scrapbook paper. So here's this little owl I put there on coffee dyed paper. I made this a tuck spot and this backed on coffee dyed paper as a journaling card. I want to say everything is in here except this one. I just realized I forgot to add this in the book and um, I didn't use the belly bands. So another one of the pages and that's from my stash, just a piece of... This is a vintage, I don't know the year. Um, it's not that terribly, terribly old. Well, it's fairly old, but this is the back cover of a music book, a classical music book. There's another, and then super shabby. Look at this. I love how the stitching just did not come out. I love how it not didn't come out because it's just so cool. So um, there's that journaling card slipped there, a little bit of stamping. I mean, this even ripped. It's awesome. So shabby. Um, birds in their homes. I love how this came out. Super simple. This is a 1925 um, book page about music, a uh, music lesson book. This is the actual book page. So it's almost 100 years old. And then these two um, book covers in the, on the ephemera sheet, I stitched them all together to make this pocket. And then there's a little corrugated cardboard with some note paper stapled onto that with some lace for taking notes. And then the middle signature, I um, glued together so you have a big pocket right in the middle to put extra things in. And here's an extra paper clip and uh, another journal card back with coffee dyed paper. See, when I spray it with the coffee dyed, you get, <laughs> he's grumpy, if you can hear him in the background. And then um, Schumer's classic, Library of Musical Classics, Piano Solo Collections. These were Mozart. And then um, I just glued this on the page here. 
see this is the coffee effect. I do not have a laser printer. I have inkjet, and I do this on purpose to make the ink kind of bleed. Um, one of the journaling cards that's ripped and put on here, and um, there's my stamp, and then the back is open as a huge pocket to put things in. So just kind of a fun, uh, easy, shabby, perfect for adding stuff to you, lots and lots of room to expand. This would be really good for just um, your planner, junk, a bullet journal, something like that, because it is not overly decorated. Um, it's just showing off my kit, and that is in my shop as well. So. Uh, if you have not joined my Facebook group, which is called Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals and Friends, on Facebook, you should because um, I will probably be posting a freebie from this kit on there and I get a lot of other uh, freebies and giveaways and things like that. There's a giveaway that going on right now that will end tomorrow, so go ahead and join the fun over there. Have a wonderful day. And... And quick, 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 um, I did just forget I went ahead and added this in the back of the journal, so you will get that.